This is Concept E classes and today we will deal with the question and answers of chapter 15, Some Natural Phenomena. So before we enter into the exercises, let's take a quick revision of what all we have studied in this chapter. First we saw an interaction of lightning where we saw that lightning is a huge spark, electric spark and the spark is mainly created due to electric charges. Hence we studied more about electric charges how an object is charged by rubbing, the types of charges and their interaction and the transfer of charge. Then we saw how electric charges are related to lightning and what all precautions should be taken during lightning. Then we also studied about earthquakes, uh, how earthquake is formed and the protection against earthquake. Now let's enter into the exercises. Exercises. Question number one. Which of the following cannot be charged easily by friction? So we have to point out which of the following material cannot be charged by rubbing. So we already studied that when two objects are rubbed against each other, they acquire a small charge. That is charging by rubbing or charging by friction. So which of the following cannot be charged? A. A plastic scale. B. A copper rod. C. An inflated balloon. And D. A wooden cloth. So if you see the options, we can notice that most of them are non-conducting materials and only copper rod is a conducting material. So non-conducting materials can be charged by friction but as copper rod is a conducting material it cannot be charged by friction. Hence the answer is B a copper rod. Question number 2. When a glass rod is rubbed with a piece of cloth what happens to the rod? The rod and both the silk cloth acquire a positive charge. The road becomes positively charged while the cloth has a negative charge. C. The road and the cloth both acquire negative charge. And D. The road becomes negatively charged while the cloth has a positive charge. So when two objects like a silk cloth and a glass road are rubbed against each other, they get charged. That is they acquire charge. So by convention, the road will get positive charged whereas the cloth will be negatively charged. Question number 3. Write true or false in the following statements. A. Like charges attract each other. Is it true or false? It is false because like charges repel each other. B. A charged glass road attract a charged plastic straw. Is it true or false? A charged road when it is rubbed with a plastic straw, what happens? The charged road will have a positive charge and the plastic straw will have a negative charge. As opposite charges attract each other, the glass road will attract a charged plastic straw. Hence the answer is true. C. Lightning conductor cannot protect a building from lightning. Is it true or false? It is false because the purpose of a lightning conductor itself is to protect a building from lightning. What does it do? It can protect a building by discharging the charge of the lightning by directly transferring its charges to the earth. We have already studied about lightning in the first video of this chapter. So if you have any doubt, please refer the corresponding slides. Now D. Earthquakes can be predicted in advance. Is it true or false? It is false because it is impossible to predict earthquakes. Question number 4. Sometimes a crackling sound is heard while taking off a sweater during winters. Explain. So let's explain why a crackling sound is here while taking off the sweater. When taking off a sweater, it gets charged due to the friction between the sweater and the body. So what happens is here is that when two objects are rubbed against each other, they acquire a small charge. And due to these electrical charges, sparks are produced with a crackling sound. Hence we can say that the discharge of these electrical charges produces a crackling sound. Question number 5. Explain why a charged body loses its charge if we touch it with a hand. In the first video of this chapter, chapter, we conducted an experiment of electroscope. There we saw that when we touch the charged refill with a hand, the aluminum strips collapse. So why does this happen or why does a charged body loses its charge if we touch it? So let's see why. When we touch a charged body with a hand, it gets discharged. How? It's because the charge 
from the charged body it gets transferred to the earth through our body as human being is a good conductor of electricity uh, when we touch a charged body what happens that charge is conducted to the earth thereby discharging the charged body question number 6 name the scale on which the destructive energy of an earthquake is measured and if an earthquake measures 3 on the scale would it be recorded by a seismograph is it likely to cause damage so how can we measure the strength of an earthquake the power of an earthquake is measured on a richter scale and we have already studied that it is expressed in terms of magnitude hence if an earthquake has magnitude 3 it would be recorded by the seismograph so this is the richter scale and this is a seismograph now is the earthquake a destructive earthquake no only earthquakes having magnitude higher than 7 would be destructive earthquakes all those earthquakes with magnitude less than 5 are not likely to cause much damage question number 7 suggest three measures to protect ourselves from lightning so we have to suggest three measures during lightning avoid open spaces a house or a building is a safe place electrical appliances like computers tvs should be unplugged and third measure is bathing should be avoided during thunderstorms to avoid contact with running water as water is a good conductor of electricity explain why a charged balloon is repelled by another charged balloon whereas an uncharged balloon is attracted by another charged balloon we have to explain why this happens we already know that like charges repel each other hence when two charged balloons are brought together what happens they repel each other as they have the same charges whereas an uncharged balloon it attracts another charged balloon as they have opposite charges why because opposite charges attract each other question number 9 describe with the help of a diagram an instrument which can be used to detect a charged body what is the name of that instrument it was electroscope a device that can be used to test whether an object is carrying a charge or not is known as electroscope and we have already conducted an activity where we take an empty jam bottle and we take a piece of cardboard slightly bigger than the size of the mouth of the bottle and then we pierce a hole in it and uh, so that a metal paper clip can be inserted and we open uh, the paper clip as shown in the figure and we cut two aluminum strips and we hang them on the paper then we charge a refill and then we touch it with the roll of the paper clip what happens the aluminum foil strips they receive the same charge from the charged refill how because the metals are good conductor of electricity hence this charge is conducted through the metal wire to the aluminum foil now these strips they carry similar charges hence they repel each other and they become wide open this from this electroscope we can understand that uh, the electric charge can be transferred from a charged object to another through a metal conductor there's three states in india where earthquakes are most likely to strike so we have to list three states in india which are seismic zones or fault zones we have already studied that it is impossible to determine where an earthquake happens but as earthquakes are caused by the movement of plates the boundary of the plates are the weak zones where earthquakes are more likely to occur so in india uh, the most threatened places where earthquakes are likely to occur are jammu and kashmir gujarat and assam question number 11 suppose you are outside your house and an earthquake strikes what precaution would you take to protect yourself if you are outside your house when an earthquake strikes the following precautions should be taken find a clear spot away from the buildings trees and overhead power lines and drop to the ground now if you are in the car or a bus do not come out and ask the driver to drive slowly to a clear spot and do not come out till the tremors stop question number 12 the weather department has predicted that a thunderstorm is most likely to occur on a certain day suppose you have to go out on that day would you carry an umbrella no it is not a good idea to carry an umbrella during thunderstorm as the umbrella have metal rod and wires 
which are good conductors of electricity hence the lightning might conduct the metal rod causing an electric shock to the person holding it hence it is not advisable to carry an umbrella during thunderstorm so that's all for the question and answers of chapter 15 some natural phenomenon tune in soon for the next session don't forget to share like and subscribe if you find the contents useful thank you so much may god bless you all take care and bye bye